There's our objective today, Wakasugiyama. We're going to be climbing up to the top. If you look at the very top, you can see old growth forest up there. Sugi trees. That's where we're going to be looking for Kalanthe. And also Adantakailas. So here we go. First part of the hike is mostly a road walk. You can hear all of the bugs still doing their thing. It's high summer, middle of August. And here is some um, bamboo, Phyllostachys pubescens, also known as mosul. And uh, they're going up this way. And there's a bit of the old growth forest out on that ridge line there. That's where we'll be finding most of our orchids today. Here's the first uh, really good plant I've seen in flower so far. All the others to this point have had uh, their heads chopped off. Must have been a pretty stormy season up here. Here's an example of a plant that uh, typifies what I've been seeing this year. Uh, flower stalk around, but chopped off. Bad weather, I guess. Well, here's a plant that's uh, got a very nice uh, flower stalk coming. Hopefully the uh, elements won't get this one. Um, you can see that it's very interesting the way that they uh, develop their flower stalk. It hangs down. And uh, it grows that way all about until the buds are getting ready to open, and then they uh, turns upright and they start opening upright. Um, most of the other plants that I've seen today have been uh, had their flower stalks knocked off about halfway. I'm guessing it was due to a very rainy period we had a few weeks back, and uh, unusual. I've seen at least a dozen plants, and only one in flower nicely, and, and this guy in bud. Other than that, they've been kind of a mess. So. Let me see if I get a little closer there for you. Yeah. Nice little head. Well, I was hoping that we might be able to get to see the very rare Donachylus hadasmanus, but instead we have another treat. Hold on. Good angle here. This is a very interesting vanilla relative. Obviously an orchid. Galeola septrigonalis. And uh, look at the seed pods. Let me give you an idea how big these are. It's amazing, huh? And what's even more amazing is these will get bigger as the season goes on. Look at larger. Fascinating. Big seeds on these. Little wings on them. Very unusual. Here's one of the old sugi trees up here uh, that has a gate around it, you can see protecting it. It's it's a shrine, actually. I'm standing under a tori, which is uh, kind of the gate to a shrine. And uh, this tree is famous, partially because of its odd branching, if you notice. it's um, It's got branches all the way down 
to its base so much, which is unusual for a mature tree like this. Um, usually at this age, the first branches you'll have on the tree will be something like, uh, I don't know, at least 10 or 15 meters up the, the, uh, the tree before there are any branches. But this one, as you'll see, has got branches. Look at these right here. I mean, just hanging down almost to the ground. And uh, what's fascinating about this tree also is that this tree is, uh, it's kind of the namesake or, yeah, you could say the namesake of this uh, particular mountain, Wakasugi Yama. Um, Wakai means uh, young in Japanese. Oh, take a look at that. That's amazing. That trunk. Um, and obviously these are not young trees, so it brings the question, what the heck do they mean by young cedar mountain? Because sugi means cedar. And um, the story goes, make it real quick, is that there was a princess in ancient times who came up to this mountain and she uh, took a piece of this tree off and she brought it down to one of the local shrines, a famous shrine. Uh, in a little town called Kashi, which is now part of Fukuoka City, and planted the cutting there, and that tree still exists there today as well, and hence the name Waka. It comes from the word Wakeru, which means to divide. So really, over time, what had happened here is that this tree, which started out or this mountain which started out as, you know, divided mountain or taking a piece off mountain, uh, what it turned out to be was uh, Waka because the locals changed the name over time to Waka instead of Wakeru or Wake. And here is the uh, Shimenawa, which is, uh, oh, I have something biting my foot, my god. <laughs> Shimenawa. Uh, which is, um, oh, a place where a god is contained within, and so sort of a protecting it, and it's very common in old trees like this.